talk a little bit about sort of visually what you wanted to do and your vision for the film? Um, I wanted to make something that uh, had heart and soul, but also was sort of like stimulating and exciting and a wild ride, basically. So, um, which, you know, is sort of like trying to mix sort of highbrow and lowbrow stuff to a certain extent, because I'm a fan of both types of things and sort of genre elements and, you know, the classic shot above a stairwell that you're like, do not go down yeah. those stairs. You know, I love that kind of stuff. But I also like something that at the end of the day has a message and a point and a purpose. Um, or at least if you want to try to look for that, you can. So that's sort of what I was trying to do. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. Well, let me ask the actors working with Will and working with the director with sort of this clear vision for what he's looking for. What's that like as an actor, and what are you looking for from a director when you're working on set? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're both so polite. Um, <laughs> I had not met Will and um, read the script, and I re read it late, and I usually don't, you know, I usually fall asleep. <laughs> it was not very good. And I, I was just fascinated by the story, and when I got to my character, I was hooked. I just thought, oh, I wasn't sure. The thing is, I wasn't sure what everything, how it was all going to come together. And there was something about the poetry of what you wrote, I mean, which to me as an actress is really important. I realize when something is well written, I, it's very easy to learn. There's something about, and when it's not, there's, it's always laborious. And there was something right away, I just, the, the poetry of this character especially, she's, I won't, I don't want to give away what she, how she responds, and how she, you know, how she speaks. But um, it was so riveting to me, and I couldn't let it go in my head. And the more I thought about the story and that character, I was like, oh my! I couldn't wait. Literally, I was like, all through the night, I was thinking of it. So I couldn't wait to say, I hope I can do this because I really want to do it. Well, well let and, me ask you while you're talking about that: Is it tricky to play a character like you have in the film, which? when we are introduced to her, kind of think our one thing is going on, and then when we see the end of the movie, we realize something else was going on. Is it difficult sort of playing that and not giving too much away, but obviously for a second audience, you want to have that, those layers there? Well, I, I mean, I always, every character I approach is, you know, literally, who, who is this person? And I remember the one thing with Will when I first met him, or just in general, people were talking about her as crazy. And I said, there's nothing crazy about her. She's broken, but she's not crazy. And there's some element of that trying to find the normalcy within this, within the elements of the story that where you finally realize what the problem is with her. But that, to me, every character starts with who is she, you know, where am I coming from, what's important to me, what do I need most? Uh, from this, what does this character need the most? And those were all things that I think filled out the humanity of the character, and I think that's what people respond to. And and Will was so supportive. I mean, I hadn't met him, and that first day or the day on set, the first time I met you was extraordinary. She you know. showed up in red cowboy boots. <laughs> so <laughs> did I? I? Was like, <laughs> I was like, this. She is making this character. Right <laughs> so when you have an actor. Um, when you have people like Bo, <clears throat> you have people that are this engaged with who they are and sort of just from the get-go, you know you're like, you're getting into something cool and special and, and something way beyond whatever you put on the page. And I drove home that night after shooting with you and I was like, whoa, whoa, that was, was like, that erupted off screen. So it erupted, cool. that's exactly what happened. Really cool. But that was also, there's that give and take, you hope you have that with, with your fellow director and actors. There's that thing, it's, which is why I'm an actress. I mean, it's like, oh my God, you just, something erupts, that's the perfect word, and you're, you're kind of suddenly in the middle of something that you're both have no control over and you're completely controlling, and it's like a fabulous feeling. Well, to that point, let me ask you, Bo, about oh. working with Olivia and working with Brendan mm -hmm. and sort of, what was your chemistry and kind of creating these three characters who are very close friends at right. the film and go through this journey together? I think when we all came together the first day, or prior, before we started shooting, we kind of just sat on the floor of this motel set in this big studio. I just, Will was there, and we just talked about, we just wanted to make a movie that was great, you know, and, and just to all strive to be the best we can. And, and we, it was so strange, because we all fell into this place, uh, 
so easily, you know, of, of being the best friend and the girlfriend and the boyfriend. And we just all fell in love with each other really quick. So yeah. it was not difficult. Yeah, it was great. Uh, last question, let me ask you, Will, and for you as well, Lynn, because I know you have a scene with him. Lawrence Fishburne is perfect casting in this movie because you need an actor, I think, for that role who has that gravitas, has that voice, and really the audience recognizes him right away and knows he's in command and he's in control. Can you talk about casting him and your scene with him as well? Yeah, I wrote that character sort of with a blank slate in mind, but somebody who is powerful. And to get, you know, Lawrence to just call me and say, hey, I read your script and I needed to know what was at the end. I needed to figure it out, like, and I couldn't stop turning the pages because once I started, I couldn't stop. I was like, that was a really great, I mean, to hear Lawrence Fishburne tell you that it was very, like, validating, you know? It was like, oh, wow, okay, I, I did. I made a real movie. It's a real script. Now we get to go make a real movie. <laughs> it's got a good ending. Yeah. Too. And so, like Larry Fish. I mean, yeah, I was, oh, and my ear was getting drawn towards the phone because his voice has so much gravity to it. I was, like, trying to peel it away. Um, but no, he was, you know, to get uh, a, such a sort of legendary voice and a legendary face and somebody with such power and presence was, um, I feel like it really sort of legitimized the process that was going on inside of me, which was kind of an honor and, and really exciting. And he's such a genuine, nice guy that to work with him was like, you always hear like crazy stories as first directors and things like that and, and none of that like he was just so engaged and always like trying to figure out like what if we do this he was just a pleasure and um, to work with both Lynn and Lawrence and sort of a situation like where they're just sort of mono el mano it's pretty cool he was I was so excited to meet him and I Literally, I came out of my trailer and there was a guy standing there in a hazmat suit. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this is perfect. And it turned around and there was Laura's, you know. And he was just, he just was very gracious. He was very quiet. He shook hands and he said, you want to run lines? And I said, yep. So we went and we sat down. We ran lines. And he never really broke from that place that, w that has, like you say, gravitas is the right word because there's such a... A feel of this man rooted in the earth and also rooted somewhere else. I mean, it's like, had, to me, he had like both elements going, which was so powerful for the film as well. And for me, I, it's always a little scary because, you know, you, 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 think of things in your bedroom and you know in your in your living room while you're learning lines and you get ideas and stuff and suddenly when I was doing it with him he was so supportive as a fellow artist and fellow actor he gave me even more strength and was so supportive of my my decisions and my choices and between Will and him I really felt like I was able to have that eruption you know to have that character really flower in the way I was hoping she would and so he was a dream to work with. I have such respect and regard and real, like, a, a sense of immediate friendship with yeah, this person. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, you were all great in the movie, and I loved it. Ah, uh, thank you so much, man. So, yeah, congratulations. I appreciate that.